Melachim Shani 2 Kings 22. Yoshiyahu was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned thirty and one years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Yediyahu, the daughter of Adayahu of Batkwath. And he did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah and walked in all the way of David his father, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And it came to pass in the eighteenth year of King Yoshiyahu that the king sent Eth Shaphan, the son of Atzel Yahu, the son of Mashulam, the scribe, to the house of Yahuwah, saying, Go up to Chilkiyahu, the high priest, that he may sum at the silver which is brought into the house of Yahuwah, which the garters of the door have gathered of the people, and let them deliver it into the hand of the doers of the work that have the oversight of the house of Yahuwah, and let them give it to the doers of the work which is in the house of Yahuwah to repair the breaches of the house unto carpenters and builders and masons and to buy timber and hewn stone to repair at the house. Howbeit there was no reckoning made with them of the money that was delivered into their land, rather hand, because they dealt faithfully. And... Kilkiyahu, the high priest, said unto Shaphan, the scribe, I have found the Sefer of the Torah in the house of Yahuwah. And Kilkiyahu gave eth the Sefer to Shaphan, and he read it. And Shaphan, the scribe, came to the king and brought eth the king word again and said, your servants have gathered at the money that was found in the house and have delivered it into the hand of them that do the work, that have the oversight of the house of Yahuwah. And Shaphan the scribe showed the king, saying, Kilkiyahu the priest has delivered me a sefer. And Shaphan read it before the king. And it came to pass, when the king had heard at the words of the Sefer of the Torah, that he rent at his clothes. And the king commanded at Kilkiahu, the priest, and at Achi Kwam, the son of Shaphan, and at Achbor, the son of Mikayahu, and at Shaphan, the scribe, and eth Asayah, a servant of the kings, saying, Go ye, inquire of eth Yahuwah for me, and for the people, and for all Yahudah, concerning the words of this Sefer that is found. For great is the wrath of Yahuwah that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this Sefer to do according unto all that which is written concerning us. So Kilkiyahu, the priest, and Achi Kwam of Achbor, rather, and Achbor, and Shaphan, and Esaiah, went unto Kulda, the prophetess, the woman of Shalom, the son of Tichva, the son of Karchach, Garter of the wardrobe. Now she dwelt in Yerushalayim in the college, and they communed with her. And she said unto them, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, Tell the man that sent you to me, Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place, and upon the inhabitants thereof, at even all the words of the Sefer, which the king of Yahudah has read, because they have forsaken me 
and have burned incense unto other Elohim, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place, and shall not be quenched. But to the king of Yahudah, which sent you to inquire of Eth Yahuah, thus shall ye say to him, Thus says Yahuah Elohai of Yashadael, as touching the words which you have learnt, rather, as touching the words which you have heard. Because your heart was tender, and you have humbled yourself before Yahuwah, when you heard what I spoke against this place, and against the inhabitants thereof, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and have rent at your clothes, and wept before me, I also have heard you, says Yahuwah. Behold, therefore, I will gather you unto your fathers, and you shall be gathered into your grave in peace, and your eyes shall not see all the evil which I will bring upon this place. And they brought Eth the king word again.